What kind of father would I be if I shy from a challenge from my own son? Greetings everyone. In today's video, we're going to cover Ether Gazers, newest modifier Rage Serpent Marduk. Rage Serpent Marduk is a sub DPS support unit. He belongs to the Asterism faction of characters and uses energy as the resource to execute his skills. Before we get into his skills, however, let's address the elephant in the room. By that I mean the giant red bar above the HP meter. The bar indicates the amount of firepower stacks he currently possess. Once the bar is full, it will turn green, and holding down the attack button will allow him to enter the hissing and rage mode, where he goes full terminator and unloads a barrage of rounds into the locked on target. Firepower stacks can be gained by using skill two and skill 3, letting a special animation play after the final sequence of his basic attack will load a round into his weapon and grant more stacks. His basic attack Storm Blitz has three sequences, will generate energy on hit, allowing the final sequences animation to play out, will load a round into his weapon and charge his firepower meter. This can be a little tricky to pull off if you like to ungabunga the attack button, so be mindful of that when basic attacking. His dodge skill reduces damage taken by 20% and will increase the damage reduction based on the amount of firepower he possesses for 7 seconds. Skill 1, Total Firepower, will fire 3 consecutive rounds at the target. On hit, increase the base damage for Skill 1, for all party members by 5%, for each shot, cancelling skill 1 before all shots are fired will reduce the cooldown of skill 1 base of the number of shots not fired. After skill 1 is used, your basic attack will change into a more forgiving one for gaining firepower stacks due to its longer animation. You'll be able to get about two full rotations of it before it changes back, so make use of it when possible. When his energy is full, Skill 1 will change into Fire Power Assist, allowing him to call in drones to bombard enemies in front of him. If Hissing in Rage is triggered while his energy is full, Fire Power Assist will be cast automatically upon its activation. Skill 2. Quick Response will deploy a drone to attack and stun enemies within its area of effect. In addition, the drone will lower the resistance of the enemies based on the element of his teammates. Each time skill 2 is cast, its cooldown is reduced, but the energy required to cast it will increase. This caps out at 60. Skill 3, Surround and Eliminate, deploys a suction grenade that explodes and pulls enemies within its area of effect to its center, then calls in drones to deploy traps around the targets to slow them and does damage over time. This skill is fantastic for dealing with groups or enemies but it can sometimes get yeeted into random locations, so try to be precise when using it. Each time skill 3 is cast, its cooldown is reduced, but the energy required to cast it will increase. This caps out at 60. His ultimate, War of the Gods End, calls in several drones to bombard the targets inflicting a 25% armor break for 10 seconds. Armor break is a universal debuff, so this makes him viable for pretty much any team comp Whenever energy is expended, Marduk gains 6% ultimate skill charge. Now that you know what his skills do, here is a sample combo you can use to fill his firepower meter. Begin with skill 3 to gather the enemies. Use skill 2 to stun lock them for a short time, followed by skill 1. This will alter the basic attack chain. From there do 3 basic attacks and let the animation play out, followed by 3 more basic attacks and loading animation to gain the extra firepower stacks. There aren't really any specific ways to play him, so Oongabunga is a viable playstyle. For Functors, the free-to-play Synchronic Vasuki is a serviceable choice. In addition to being a good stat stick compared to the four-star options, it grants him 25% more damage against enemies affected by his stun. Of course, his signature Functor, Synchronic Ushumgalu, will be his best option. This functor drastically improves his support capabilities and personal damage. Some highlights of the functor are, when a teammate casts a skill or ultimate, a drone will also be summoned to attack the targets. 
increasing all party members' attack by up to 1800 for 18 seconds. Increase the damage of the party's skill 2 and skill 3. Further decrease enemy resistance and increase party members' crit rate. The Functor essentially turns him into a Swiss army knife. Do remember though, in Ethergazer, a character's signature equipment can be obtained at any time, so there is no rush to get it. Take your time. Play with him without it, especially if you're free to play. After you've logged some time in, if you feel like the Functor would enhance your enjoyment of the character, then go for it. If you had fun without it, save for a new S rank. Remember, after base debt, you guys will not be seeing any more A ranks, so plan accordingly. Moving on to sigils. For slots 1, 3 and 5, we want Mythic Warriors. The set will increase your outgoing physical damage and crit damage. It's also the only physical set we have, so it's a must. For slots 2, 4 and 6, the new song of the Victor Energy set will grant us unmatched energy regen, bonus crit damage, and increases the damage dealt by the entire party for every 50 energy he expends. You can go ahead and change all your energy modifiers that we're using Jormunganda to this new set. For enchantments, attack, skill damage, crit rate, and crit damage are the ones to keep an eye on. When it comes to warps, we want two power-up ranged mods and two executioner mods for slots one and two. For three and four, we want two unfetter and two telepathize force field ones. For slots five and six, two pendulum diffusions and two ultimate equations. This is my support setup and it has great uptime on the armor break from his ultimate, which will benefit all characters regardless of their damage type. For DPS-oriented Marduk change the two unfettered mods on slots 3 and 4 to either EM Flux if you're good at not getting hit during combat, or Savage if you're always at low health during combat, and for slots 5 and 6, two flashback cores and two kinetic mods. To get the best out of the support setup, make sure your Kingu is rocking. Three-piece Nibelungen Lied and three-piece Mythic Warriors. You can also add the two unfetter warps and ultimate equations for even better ultimate uptime if you have the resources to do so. If you don't want to, or are low on resources, remember you only need to level his ultimate. All other skills can remain at level 1 until you can level them. For his ether code, use two blue and one yellow for even more armor break. Speaking of ether codes for Marduk, three blue are the ones I will recommend for general play. This will help lower the enemy's elemental resistance, in addition to increasing the team's crit rate. Modifiers who use skill 3 as their main damage source, such as Shinri Tsukuyomi or Darkstar, Hell will greatly benefit from blue code. If he is in a team with other energy modifiers like Asura and Hera, you can use red code, albeit this line is much more useful with his signature functor. Yellow code enhances his hissing in rage state but I won't really put all my cards into that basket so you can safely ignore it. When it comes to teammates, Marduk paired with Kingu can fit pretty much any team due to the potency of their armor break. Much like Oceanus and Enlil's skill chain, this is a universal ability that any modifier can benefit from. But pairing him with other energy mods like Phantasmal Dawn Hera, Asura or Heimdall are solid options. Remember the passive on his ultimate grants him 6% ultimate charge whenever energy is expended. So having another energy mod on the team will help battery his ultimate, allowing for constant armor breaks. Kingu does not have to be in the team. He can still be useful as a standalone support, especially if you have his signature functor. Marduk is a pretty interesting character. Unfortunately, players either want the best support, Hera, or the best DPS, Hades which leaves old man Marduk here on a really tough spot. It's like the old saying goes, a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes that alone is better than a master of one. So, you're my new partner. Still a hundred times better I made the right decision in cooperating with you. 